Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at WinFig, a virus written for the Windows 9X kernel. And we are looking at this on Windows ME because for whatever reason it works best on this particular operating system. So we'll go ahead and run WinFig, get the ball rolling here, and nothing appears to have happened. And instead of infecting files, this actually checks the floppy disk drive periodically and if it finds one it will drop itself to it. So you might notice that you have this virus when suddenly you're having stuff randomly written to your floppy disk drive when you're not using it. So we can see that it dropped its file here in the Windows directory. If we go ahead and scroll down, uses the default folder icon, calls itself winfig, and since this is on the 9x kernel, we use win.ini, and it tells it to run c colon slash windows slash winfig.exe. So this enables the virus to start when the computer starts. Go ahead and move along to the payload, which coincidentally starts activation on October 1st. And you might know that's kind of an important day to me. So we'll go ahead and change it to that day, October 1st, 2001. And we will just go ahead and restart. And since the virus runs on startup, we will see it when our computer reboots. So when we boot up here on October 1st or any date after that, we will see our background changes to a bunch of aliens. And we get a slowly typed out message from the virus author which translated equates to virus Melissa when you infected me I fell in love since then I've been preparing myself to meet you one day I've been reproducing myself for several months through the internet and floppies but now I stopped I'm not going to run after you anymore and if I can't have you no one else will I love you Melissa virus Carlos and then once it's done pops up another message there we go translates to your computer has been infected with the Carlos virus reboot your machine and the reason why it asks you to reboot your machine is because if we actually go back into our Windows folder here we will see that it has <gasps> deleted win.com it's just totally gone so now our computer won't boot except this is Windows ME and it will boot just fine without win.com one last thing the virus does if we scroll up here we will see in system that we have a bunch of new folders called Melissa and Carlos 1 through 315 or 0 through 315 and it's just a bunch of empty folders pretty easy to delete but not too bad if we were running Windows 95 or 98 in our autoexecute.bat file the virus would have written some commands to delete win.com and display a message on boot up but since we're on Windows ME as I said this isn't really effective so, that's about it for WinFig. Somewhat destructive, but not really hard to recover from, since you can just easily replace win.com from a clean copy, and you're good to go. And that's about it. You get this cool alien background, and this neat message, and you can just keep it for as long as you want. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Take care.